Hi everybody. Well, great to see you again. And here we are still managing to work through the COVID situation. Uh, great to hear about Victoria. If you haven't heard, no deaths today. I'm so happy for them and those families. It must have been horrendous. So uh, for all of Victoria. So thinking of all our colleagues um, in Victoria, and I have quite a few there. So uh, I'm glad it's going a lot better for them. Still in lockdown, however. So uh, we're thankful that we can keep going the way we're going. We've still got our jobs and uh, COVID safe. Thank you for all those people that have got tested. I know it's not uh, an easy thing to do. It gets into your lifestyle and whatever, but uh, it's keeping us safe and in jobs. I would like to let you know that we do have two more students coming uh, on the 21st. I oh, know three more, three more we said we'd take. Uh, so they're all going to be COVID tested. I'll let you know a little bit further, probably next week about that. Um, thank you for those staff members who are taking them around and showing them um, the traps. They're very grateful. So is the TAFE. Um, what else can we say? That's a plane going off. I thought I'd let Sharon get that one. I already owe her a coffee, uh, but there's another one. Okay, so um, main thing is at the moment is to stay vigilant. It's not easy. I'm aware of that. Uh, it's not easy for any of us. I think this is really a hard time because there's uh, only three today tested, um, three that are, are community transfers that we're concerned about. Um, so we're really trying to stay vigilant as far as that goes, but mainly South Sydney, but of course we're close to Sydney. Uh, South Australia, hoping they're up their borders, I hope. Haven't heard officially yet, uh, but that'll be good. Not that we're heading for South Australia right at this moment, but um, for those that have family or relatives or have anything to do with South Australia, it'll be good, especially for Broken Hill, when they're working so closely with South Australia. So um, we wish them well and hope the border opens soon. In regards to um, our audit, which is happening this week, so thank you for all those people who are being vigilant. It's a surveillance order. Uh, we audit, so it doesn't mean that we'll be um, invaded as much as we have been before, especially during COVID. Um, I've had to put strict regulations, as you know, uh, in terms of office. So a lot of it's going to be, or most of it's going to be done online and via Zoom. So we thank you the, to the auditors for um, cooperating with that and within our policies. It's very important to me that we stick with our policies uh, and uh, continue to be safe. That is wash our hands, take it easy, um, making sure that we register if we need to, having tests if we need to, staying home if we're sick, staying 1.5 metres away from each other. I know it's hard with the winter going and summer and spring coming on. However, please stay vigilant I really thank you so much. You are doing an awesome job. Here comes another plane. So you guess where I am this week, um, heading just, I'm right near the airport actually. Not that I'm, I'm um, checking on my grandson. I would never do that. <laughs> He's probably uh, working anyway, but he does, he does fly from time to time. Anyhow, that's enough for me. Uh, you're probably sick of hearing my voice, but I am very grateful to all of you again. Safe distance, wash your hands, stay safe, get tested if you need to, and thank you again. Um, one of the biggest things though, before I let you go, is to let you know that we have made the finals in the Business Awards. So congratulations to you all, all those people that voted. Very, very exciting. Okay, take care and I'll um, keep you posted on that. Bye.